सो वेलकम बैक व्यूअर्स वी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर लर्निंग फॉर यंग सर्जन्स बडिंग सर्जन्स एंड सर्जरी ट्रेनिंग वेर बी एक्सप्लोर फैसिनेटिंग सर्जिकल कंडीशंस एंड एम टू एम्पावर यू विद नॉलेज सो द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज ए कंडीशन विच अफेक्ट्स मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड इट्स अ पजलिंग सब्जेक्ट इन द माइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंड मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स so our goal is to shed light on insuloma it is one of the variant of pancreatic neuroendocrine neuroplasms pnets or pnens and uh, to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of of its causes symptoms diagnosis and treatment options so join us as we delve into the world of insuloma uncovering its impact on indi- individuals and medical community as a whole we will also learn the latest development in the field of nuclear medicine the cutting edge diagnostic techniques available and what are what are the different treatment options so from surgical point of view so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on latest information and gain a deeper understanding of insuloma so as we launch this uh, new series that is pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors or pancreatic neuroendocrine endocrine neoplasms so this is the first video and part 1 of the insuloma insuloma in part 1 we will discuss the basically clinical case scenario how the patient present how do we i mean evolve the diagnostic modalities and what are the surgical options in part 2 will be more of a theoretical discussion and friends uh, the surgeon trainees who are preparing for super specialty examination nations uh, there are many uh, i mean questions based upon these pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors so i hope uh, they will also find it useful from the uh, examination point of view otherwise if you are a clinician you are a surgeon then this video will help you to guide your investigation and management options and friends if you have not downloaded our app already please do download the app it's available for android and ios the description of same is available in description of this video and pinned comments for a better learning experience so just remember students uh, knowledge is power and together we can navigate the intricacies of these complicated procedures and uh, insuloma uh, is a subject of this video with confidence so let's begin this journey together so friends uh, pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors or pancreatic neuroendocrine neoplasms they are rare tumor uh, they arise from the hormone producing cells that is the neuroendocrine cell in the pancreas and uh, as a whole of all the pancreatic malignancy they are just 1 to 2% of all the pancreatic malignancies and depending on whether this tumor is secreting hormone or not they are labeled into functional and non functional so uh, they can be different type depending on the which part of the i mean a neurotic tumor they present like insulin glucagon gastrin somatostatin vasoactive intestinal peptide so accordingly insulinoma glucagonoma gastrinoma somatostatinoma or bipoma uh, so depends which uh, cell they are presenting and the uh, symptoms produced by the functional tumor Uh, will depend on what kind of hormone they are producing like insuloma lead to hypoglycemia gastrinoma which uh, lead to enhanced acid production and peptic ulcer disease we will uh, discuss uh, we will launch a specific video for which will cover the pancreatic uh, neuro neuroendocrine neoplasm as a whole uh, the radiology and presentation so uh, in this video uh, we will uh, be focused and discussing more about the insuloma and as i said earlier for better learning experience please download the app and join our telegram uh, channel for all the updates uh, because uh, i mean there are some issues on youtube uh, they are i mean uh, being our content is being reported as a vulgar and uh, going against repeatedly going against the community guidelines because minimum amount of blood shown in these pics goes against the community guidelines and uh, we are on the verge of receiving a strike so uh, for better learning experience friends and uh, to stay connected please download our app app is available for android and ios it is free to download app and stay connected coming to the index case so this was a 44 year old lady 
homemaker by occupation she had history of sudden loss of consciousness and abnormal movements for last 2 years uh, she had undergone evaluation in local hospital where she was found to have hypoglycemia uh, there was no significant past history and she had also underwent extensive psychiatric evaluation so friends whenever you will encounter a patient of insuloma you will find specifically if we talk in our i mean developing countries in our indian scenario most of these patients are labeled as psychic they uh, undergo treatment under treatment from different additional healers to get rid of this negative energies so this is a classical uh, scenario and most of the time you will find uh, this history will be there and usually there is a delay of some years usually 3 to 4 years depending on which part of the world you are living uh, before these patients are actually found to have some medical condition that is insuloma otherwise these patients keep on getting the antipsychotic drugs rest of the histories were not contributory so patient finally came and reached in a good hospital where uh, she was evaluated by a endocrinologist and she was started on bislon also and as per the records available it was started for hypothyroidism though we don't didn't have any evidence for that and uh, uh, she was started on digoxide starch and corn based diet these are all which uh, avoid basically this is medical management for medical management for the hypoglycemia or insuloma so these help to avoid the hypoglycemic episodes but still patient was getting repeated these hypoglycemia episodes so she was referred to us for the surgical evaluation the only positive finding in her uh, general physical examination was her good bmi so these patient usually with time they realize that Uh, any prolonged episode of fasting lead to these symptoms so uh, they adapt to their uh, conditions and keep on eating so usually you will encounter that these patients are heavy built or obese and because uh, uh, they keep on eating to avoid these hypoglycemia and its effect on them so her bmi was 27.56 and rest of the abdominal examination general physical examination was essentially normal so uh, so be evaluated her for uh, insuloma and men one work was also done so for the time being just remember the men one work up will include three piece that will be parathyroid tumors pancreatic islet cell tumors and anterior pituitary tumors so be always look for three piece that is pancreatic the parathyroids and pituitary tumors and most men one tumors are aggressive uh, not aggressive and they follow a indolent course particularly the non functioning tumors her routine work was normal so this is the specific work of friends for insuloma and we will discussing more theoretical part in the second video of this series otherwise this video will become unusually long so uh, the serum cortisol were normal her fasting blood sugar was low that is 35 rest of the adrenocorticotropic hormone tsh and the serum c peptide and serum insulin fasting levels were uh, also normal and basically we have to rule out the iatrogenic hypoglycemia if patient is taking the insulin uh, because the sometimes there is factitious presentation also and other work up will include growth hormone the serum gastrin level the parathyroid hormone level and prolactin level so except for the fasting blood sugar rest of the work up was normal so for the time being just remember so that when we are investigating a patient so all these panel that the cortisol the acth the tsh the gastrin growth hormone parathyroid hormone and prolactin level we have to Uh, basically ask for from the lab so the radiological investigation including the ultrasound abdomen the mri of brain and triple phase ct scan of abdomen they were all reported as a normal study so friends i am sharing these axial images of ct scan uh, which were reported by uh, i mean the radiologist uh, as a normal study so uh, there are three basically uh, i mean uh, these uh, cross sectional imaging just go through them and uh, then uh, if you can find out you can pause the video here and try to find out is there any finding which was missed uh, by radiologist here and then we will discuss 
so i hope you were able to pick up the finding which was uh, missed by the radiologist so here yeah if you see i mean uh, then let me come on the image where uh, the we have uh, i mean highlighted the finding so friends uh, i mean if you see uh, the here the the M mpd was prominent normally the pancreatic duct should not be visible it was visible in this case and on the superior surface that is towards the ventral surface uh, there was this a uh, bulge here you can see as highlighted and marked here there was a arterial enhancing lesion uh, present and uh, sorry we don't have that arterial cut sub label so it is a uh, portal venous phase still you can make out there is a arterial enhancing lesion on the superior surface of the pancreas uh, the portal vein the splenic vein and prominent mpd as marked so this finding was mixed so just remember for the time being that all the neuroendocrine tumor they are highly i mean uh, take up the arterial contrast very well because of the good uh, vascular supply arterial supply so so they get lightened up in the uh, this uh, arterial phase and always ask for this arterial uh, imaging or the arterial phase or ct scan uh, whenever you are suspecting a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor or and as such the basically arterial phase is part of the uh, pancreatic protocol any pancreatic protocol ct so we will also discuss the pancreatic imaging in some other video so stay tuned hit the bell icon for all the updates so uh, this is a new addition uh, as such uh, if you are aware then the usually we are doing dota pet uh, which are specific for the nets but if you are suspecting insuloma then glp1 receptor study uh, from pet scan perspective that is exendin exendin scan exc and din scan uh, is one of the most specific study for the insuloma and friends uh, just remember this uh, fact and uh, this may be the part of many mcqs asked in super special examinations so the exanding uh, scan showed there was an intense tracer abid uh, focal lesion noted in the proximal body of pancreas which was corresponding to the uh, ct finding which we just discussed of the same patient so these are the pictures of 68 gallium exanden pet ct scan trends and uh, as you can see how well this lesion which we were suspecting and discussed on the triple phase ct scan has lightened up and uh, so uh, as i said the exanden scan the 68 gallium exanden scan is one of the most specific test for the insuloma and we will discuss more about this glp1 receptor scan uh, in the later part of this video it the finding was a glp1 receptor expressing lesion in the proximal body of pancreas likely insuloma so let's discuss briefly this uh, uh, nuclear imaging about the exanding scan so this glp what is glp it's a glucagon like peptide 1 glp1 receptor so it's a 30 amino acid long peptide hormone derived from the tissue specific post translational processing of pro glucagon gene so the pro glucagon gene is expressed in several organs including the pancreas the alpha cell of islets of langerhans the intestinal endocrine uh, l cells and brain that is the caudal brain stem and hypothalamus the pancreatic pro glucagon gene expression is promoted upon fasting and hypoglycemic induction and is inhibited by insulin so just remember friends and conversely the intestinal pro glucagon gene expression is reduced during fasting and stimulated upon food consumption so it is a uh, basically uh, i mean opposite relation and just remember the theoretical discussion so the glp1 uh, how it works it stimulate glucose dependent insulin synthesis decrease apoptosis of the beta cell so it's a protect, uh, protective for the beta cells it increases differentiation of beta precursor cells in the pancreas and inhibits gastric emptying and appetite at hypothalamus level so just remember friends i mean again as i said earlier uh, these things these facts may be part of some mcqs questions and if you are preparing for your super specialty then you may find them helpful 
the other differentiating point uh, that is gl1r and stroma is that benign stroma express glp1 receptors universally and it's a highly uh, high density is there five uh, as five times a pair uh, in comparison to the background that is normal beta cells uh, and in fact there is no other peptide receptor has been found to exhibit such high expression level in this tumor type on the contrary if you are dealing with a malignant uh, stroma then expression of glp1 receptor is significantly less so if it is a better then it's benign otherwise uh, it is uh, indicating toward the malignancy of the insuloma again just remember these are the different uh, ligands available and uh, as i said uh, they are not much uh, relevant in this part of discussion but uh, for the trainees and uh, who are preparing for super specialty then this uh, just remember that is these are the different ligands available so these are the different uh, diagnostic the imaging modality available out of which the us and the glp1 pet ct glp1 receptor pet ct have the highest uh, uh, basically sensitivity of detecting and if you compare the basically different uh, uh, pet ct and uh, i mean the dopa pet ct and glp1 receptor ct then it the glp1 uh, that is exendin scan exc and din scan is best and out of the invasive modality the endoscopic ultrasound has a uh, best localization uh, potential so uh, we were sure about the diagnosis of insuloma biochemically and with the help of these nuclear Im medicine imaging and uh, so patient was taken up for the surgery and interoper interoperatively there was a uh, mass uh, 2 by 2 centimeter firm tumor in the body of pancreas so pancreatic neck was divided with the help of stapler and distal uh, part of the basically this pancreas was divided with the help of blade and uh, we did a pancreatic genostomy with a rulim as a dunking method so this is the interoperative uh, pick friend so if you are watching this on our youtube channel then we might have a applied some kind of a black and white filter to this picture otherwise uh, these uh, small small uh, pictures interpretive pictures which we want to share for the i mean the teaching purpose this goes against the community guidelines so you can appreciate in these interpretive pictures that there is a small i mean uh, bulge in the pancreatic body the uh, basically vein has been the the portal vein has been uh, defined and just on the left side of portal vein there was this bulge visible uh, which marked the site of the tumor and it was corresponding to the uh, basically site on the ct scan and the exendin scan so uh, this is the uh, basically uh, taken out specimen of the pancreas and as we uh, cut it out there, there was this fleshy tumor uh, as you can make out these are highly vascular tumor fleshy tumor uh, and uh, it was just beneath the uh, cap capsule of the pancreas so we did central pancreatectomy and friends if you're watching this as a free youtube uh, video then we might have applied a uh, sort of a filter black and white filter so just to keep the basically these videos in line with the uh, community guidelines we apply these filters so that we are able to i mean uh, convey our message and keep these videos as safe so uh, if you want the actual content the premium content then download the app and this video will be available as a free to watch video on our app or if you want to watch on youtube only then join the channel membership the link for same is available in pinned comment section and description of this video so this is the pictorial depiction of the central pancreatectomy and this is the pictorial depiction again of the central pancreatectomy so proximal uh, part is sutured and the distal lump we did a dunking procedure the so patient had a smooth recovery and had a, a grade b postoperative pancreatic fistula so this is the one of the most common complication after central pancreatectomy and if i am not wrong then approximately 50 to 60 percent patient will experience popf uh, after central pancreatectomy and this is the uh, final uh, histopathological uh, specimen uh, where we can see the insuloma uh, near the pancreatic surface
remember uh, this picture again that SNP chromogranin K67 and insulin these are the ISC marker uh, which you have to ask by sending the uh, I mean uh, this tissue for the uh, histopathological examination because these markers are specific for the NET and the uh, insulin. So the final histopathological examination report was pancreas uh, pancreatic insuloma grade 2. So uh, in the second part we will be discussing the theoretical discussion and we will be uh, stressing more upon the basically intricacies the theoretical part so uh, that we will upload soon and as part of promotion to our startup that is our app uh, it will be available initially exclusively on the app so uh, to have an early exclusive and premium access to the content please download the app and the link for same is available in description and pinned comments of this video. Or if you want to watch uh, this on YouTube channel only, then please join the channel membership uh, and uh, enjoy the uh, exclusive access. And students, please don't forget to join our official Telegram channel. Uh, otherwise, uh, to have uh, all the updates, early updates. And as I said, uh, I mean, uh, we are facing these issues of uh, videos being reported as uh, vulgar or going against the community guidelines. So uh, to stay connected, please join our official Telegram uh, group. And again, the link for same is available in description and pinned comments of this uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube video. So part two, we will upload soon. So thanks for watching viewers. I hope uh, we were able to add some new insight uh, to your knowledge. And just remember friends, the knowledge is invaluable. And we are just showing the glimpse of these things. You need to dive deeper, uh, dig further and uh, to have complete understanding of the subject. So uh, we uh, will guide you. We will be the torch bearer in this quest of knowledge in pursuit of excellence. So stay connected. Thank you very much. Happy learning.